Well, hi there, and welcome to Storytime for Kids. I'm Mrs. McCurley, and today we're going to learn all about St. Patrick's Day history for kids. I'm sure you've heard of this really famous, exciting holiday that's coming up, so let's hear all about it. <laughs> so who is the St. Patrick, and what is this holiday all about? To answer that question, we have to go all the way back to the 4th century to Britain, which was under the control of the Roman Empire at the time. And this man, St. Patrick, <laughs> has a lot of myth and legend surrounding him, such as the tall tale about him standing on the mountaintop in Ireland and driving away all the snakes, <laughs> or the story about how his walking stick magically turned into a living tree. Oh. <laughs> but his real life story, which he retold himself in personal letters that he wrote over 1,500 years ago, and that still survived today, tells of a life of true danger and adventure. Ready to get started? Well, when he was a young boy, St. Patrick grew up rich, rebellious, and spoiled. Until one day, around the age of 16 years old, when he was kidnapped and sold into slavery. He was taken across the sea from his homeland of Britain to the foreign country of Ireland. He was forced to work alone isolated on the side of a mountain, tending to sheep. <coughs> well, Patrick was sad and missed his family terribly. And for six long years, he endured these brutal conditions of slavery. Then one day, while tending to the sheep on the mountainside, he heard what he believed to be the voice of God. Inspired and empowered by this experience, he gathered his courage and found a way to escape his enslavement, seeking passage across the sea to his homeland of Britain on a pirate ship. <laughs> Once returned to Britain, his family expected Patrick to take back up his life of privilege and wealth. But he did not. He had other lands. So moved by his experience with the voice of God on the mountainside, he decided to return back to Ireland to spread the message of Christianity to the pagan Irish people that had enslaved him. He dedicated his life to this mission and gained many followers and enemies and adventures in the process. Today, the St. Patrick's Day holiday is celebrated in many countries all over the world. Ireland, <laughs> naturally, but also the United States, Buenos Aires, and England. In the U.S., the city of Chicago colors its huge river green. And New York City hosts a parade every year with a turnout of over 150,000 people. <laughs> wow! Everyday foods like hot dogs and cookies and bread are colored green in celebration. And traditional foods such as corned beef and cabbage are served. And what's the story with all this green anyway? Well, Ireland is known as the Emerald Isle because of its lush green grass big, beautiful trees and rolling meadows. Plus, in Ireland, it is common knowledge that wearing the color green makes you invisible to mischievous fairies called leprechauns who enjoy pinching people. Shamrocks, which are three or four-leafed clover plants, are a popular symbol for St. Patrick's Day because, legend says, Patrick used them as teaching aids to explain Christianity to the Irish people of the fourth century. 
Shamrocks and the color green are also considered lucky. You may have heard the expression, the luck of the Irish, which definitely holds true of such a funny, hardworking, loving group of people, my personal family included, who appreciate it all over the world. And that, my friends, is the St. Patrick's Day History for Kids. And this Irish holiday is St. Patty's Day for short. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us for this exciting history lesson about St. Patrick's Day. And until our next video, <laughs> happy story time. Bye.